You're on camera. Hi, peoples of the earth. I really hate clutter, but our house is full of clutter. We have papers everywhere, and the problem is, I'm just as much to blame for it as anyone. Today, I'm going to declutter at least the downstairs. But first, coffee and food. to San Francisco Theological Seminary. It's a great school. I encourage you, if you're thinking about seminary, to consider it. And inevitably, inevitably, they're looking for money. A donation form. Do they not realize that most of us who are in ministry are not earning a whole lot of money? I'm paid decently well. Pretty average, I think. My eggs are burning. Excuse me. Why in the world would the seminary keep sending us these, this information. Now, yeah, they say I could give 175 or 50 bucks. That's a lot of money. What we need to be going after are the people that actually have money. Really? Really? One of the ways to help not get so cluttered is to not make so much of a mess, right? Here's the dilemma. When I eat, a nice little package is to use bread as your plate. But I also have this paper towel, which is kind of wasteful, right? I should be using a plate. But then with the plate, don't I end up wasting a whole lot of precious water, especially here in Arizona, trying to clean the plate when I have to clean the plate? Or even in the dishwasher, which is a lot more efficient, or so I'm told, than washing them in the sink because it uses less water per dish. All of this stuff is actually from my kids' school. So we, they get forms, they get all their little quizzes and tests back, um, spelling tests and whatnot. Mail. Mail creates a lot of clutter. I don't know. Oh, that's hot. First, I'm gonna eat my breakfast, and then I'm gonna get to decluttering and cleaning. I really don't like clutter. Who uses cereal ports anymore? Really? This is like two months worth of receipts. Not bad. Ugh. Now I have to clean up all this mess. I'm trying to get the pictures back. Dietrich Von Hopper. Now, just all this little stuff. Decluttering took a little longer than I expected, two or three days. I've still got a few things laying around, but the dining room table is back. The living room you can actually sit in. So the thing about decluttering is about getting rid of the things that, that, that weigh us down. We collect things from, from different years and, and different seasons in our lives, and they weigh us down and hold us back from moving forward. So all this stuff is really just stuff. That's the whole meaning of life, isn't it? Trying to find a place for your stuff. Do you feel like you have too much stuff? Never. Never? You want more stuff? I know. The less stuff we have, the more open we might be to new opportunities, new experiences, new relationships. The more open we might be to God. Okay, if you don't touch it for a year or two, 18 months, let's say 18 months, then maybe it's not something you really need. I got a whole garage full of stuff that I haven't touched in years that I probably need to get rid of. I touch it, but doesn't mean I use it. Part of decluttering is also making sure everything's put away. The truth is, this is a little disingenuous because, well, that's the rest of the garage. I will get a car in here someday. Someday. Part of decluttering is also making sure that you have a place for everything. I'm gonna make some drawers or some cubbies that are gonna go into the computer desk in the family room for the kids. 
but I gotta get my table saw out. It's taken a little longer than I expected, but I've got two of four little boxes made. Fortunately, all that mess that I cleaned up, now there's a whole other mess. One more sanding, stain it, throw it in, two more boxes to go. They're not quite done yet, but they're pretty close. They're gonna come out a little darker, but I think they're gonna look great. And they'll organize all the kids' papers and things. A little less clutter, or at least a little less visible clutter. Decluttering is more than just about having a clean house. It's more than just having a clean space. It's about empty, letting go of. Have you ever seen the show Hoarders? where they have so much stuff, the space has actually become toxic. I think that happens to our souls. The accumulation of things challenges our ability to be able to allow the Holy Spirit to move and work through us. In scripture, we find Jesus regularly challenging the leadership of his time on their obsession with cleanliness. And he makes a distinction between cleanliness and emptiness. Cleanliness is, is about good versus evil. Uh, cleanliness, at least from the Pharisees' perspective, was uh, uh, about pleasing God by how great and awesome we are. To empty ourselves, to, to make room for the movements and the sometimes challenges of God's Holy Spirit. And that doesn't necessarily mean that the Holy Spirit is blocked from moving it, but I think it's moving in us, but I think it's harder. Churches are famous for creating clutter. Uh, collecting and saving and, and trying to hang on to the past. You know, the old phrase in churches is, well, we've never done it that way before. Isn't God always doing a new thing? In the prophets, we hear about God doing a new thing. Uncluttering is letting go, acknowledging and giving thanks for things that may have happened in the past, for programs or ministries or people. God is constantly calling us to new space, new ways of being. And really, they're old ways, but they're ways that challenge us to shed the clutter, the, the baggage that we're hanging on to from the past. In Jeremiah and in the book of Lamentations, the people are in exile. Jerusalem's been destroyed. The temple has been leveled. And the prophets call them to let go. That God is not in the temple. God is in our hearts. Isn't it Jeremiah that, that, that shares the word of God that says, I, I'm not, no longer going to write them the, the rules and the guidelines and the teachings into rule books and tablets. I'm going to write it on their hearts. In other words, the Word of God is already inside of us. We need to make room so that we can hear it. We need to get rid of the noise, the, the cacophony of, of things, and this obsession with, with, with perfection and what the world wants, success and the newest and latest, greed and I want, in order to make room for the ability for God's love to transform us. Clutter creates disorder, and disorder creates confusion. And confusion can sometimes lead to mental or spiritual illness. Where we get so caught up in the stuff, we lose ourselves. You're so weird. <laughs>